What's up you guys? Welcome to my very first pack with me video. Today I'm going to show you guys what I packed and how I packed for a typical four day trip. I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys are interested in this in the future, please give your girl a thumbs up. And as always, everything mentioned in today's video will be down below in the description box. Before I get started, I also want to share today's sponsor. One of the main things Jeremy and I are trying to do is travel with less camera equipment. We wanted to travel light, not have any stress. And one of the things I really was lacking was trying to shoot professional photos on my iPhone so I'm so excited to announce today's sponsor is Skillshare if you guys have never heard of Skillshare it is an online learning community for creators with more than 25,000 classes in tons of different topics design business videography photography cooking art but the class I was so excited to start was the one from Dale McManus called iPhone photography how to take pro photos on your iPhone even better I was able to download all of my favorite Skillshare classes onto my iPad Pro and Jeremy and I were just blasting through class after class while we're just hanging out on the plane and most importantly right when we got off we were so creatively inspired we've been just really enjoying taking photos from my iPhone and I've been really happy with the results so if you guys are interested in learning and expanding your skill set Skillshare is giving away two months of free unlimited access you click the link down below in the description box so please be sure to check that out after your two-month trial it's only around ten dollars a month I'll share all of the other classes that I have teed up in my queue for you guys to check out down below too. All right, so let's jump back into the video. For this trip, I packed my faux leather zippered tote bag from Walmart. This is from the brand Motile. And then for my suitcase, I have my Away bigger carry-on bag. Jeremy also brought the exact same suitcase along with his e-bags backpack. So we did all carry-on luggage for this trip. Now this trip was a little bit specific. I had to go to our home site to check on the house and I was worried that it was gonna get really rainy and muddy. So I ended up packing my Hunter rain boots so I packed those first into the zippered compartment in my suitcase I always try to alternate the directions of the shoes so that they seamlessly fit together especially for bulky shoes like this and I also needed to bring tape measure and painters tape so to not waste any space I dropped those into the boot itself to maximize the space within the shoe then for clothes I needed options that were like going out and also just being grungy at the construction site so I packed two tank tops two t-shirts a pair of denim shorts, denim jeans, and one dress. When selecting my clothes, I try to do the same color family or at least ensure that every single piece can work together so I have the maximum amount of combinations. So I went with blacks, whites, denim, very simple, always classic. I packed everything in one of my away packing cubes and I realized I had a little bit of extra space so I also threw in my pajamas. I got a big old t-shirt and my favorite Lululemon tracker shorts. I love Beyonce, you guys. This is my, one of my favorite shirts. I got at her formation concert so respect the queen. <laughs> I always like to throw in the clothes into the middle section of the handrail part of the suitcase. Then I like to fill in all the spaces around the clothes so that it rides those sides rails. I'll show you guys that in a second. Moving on to makeup, I try to pack as minimal as possible because I'm always bringing way too much makeup. So for my foundation, I got my Bare Minerals Original Formula and Mineral Veil Foundation Combo, a Marc Jacobs bronzing palette that I use for contouring my face, a Benefit Hoola bronzer in a mini size to contour my nose, a Tarte 24 hour Amazonian clay blush, my MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation, Fenty Pro Filter Concealer, my new favorite beauty sponge holder. This one is mesh and super flexible. Great for actually getting your sponge nice and dry and it also scrunches down to be super compact. Instead of a big eyeshadow palette, I went with two small ones. I have an Urban Decay Mini Aphrodisiac and Morphe Nude Palette that I wear every single day. For mascara, I have Lash Paradise from L'Oreal, Pat McGrath Eyeliner, the new Fenty Beauty Eyebrow Pencil with the cutest little brush, and for eyebrows, I've got my Glossier Boy Brow Gel, Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade, and a eyelash curler from Shu Amora. Then I packed all of that in my Stony Clover small size pouch. I love it because it has one translucent side so I can see everything that I'm packing, but the actual footprint of this bag is so slim, it really lends itself for fitting in all your nooks and crannies within your suitcase. I find that the material is super durable, the zipper is crazy strong, and it's just one of my all-time favorite bags, especially for packing cosmetics. So I crammed that bag right on the side next to my clothes. As you can see, it fits perfectly in that little crevice. I 
just saved and it just kind of rides the side rails of the bag perfectly snug. So since I was doing a carry on, I had to do all my liquids separately. So these are my toiletries that are non liquids. This is kind of like my stinky girl bag. <laughs> First up, I have my Dagny Dover Neoprene Large Hunter Toiletry Bag. I absolutely love this one. It has little secret compartments and extra pouchettes to organize all your things. I've got my toothbrush, toothpaste, floss, dental picks, all in the long skinny mesh one. Jam that all in there. It fits absolutely perfectly for these long skinny items. I then have a little side mesh pouch that I use specifically for all of my cotton pads for toner, skincare, all that good stuff. And then this genius uh, tool, I got a Daiso, the Japanese dollar store. It is a collapsible like funnel cup. It's silicone, it collapses completely down and flat and I use that for my rinsing cup whenever I'm brushing my teeth. Love it. Always got a pocket pair of tweezers for a crazy eyebrow or ingrown hairs. Then I've got like just an array of different wipes. I'm like a wipe girl. <laughs> I've got my deodorant wipes from Pacifica. These are amazing, natural, and are just really good for just whisking off the sweat from your pits every day. I've got some wet ones for wiping down my hands whenever I'm getting my eat on. And then I've got some leftover Kirkland makeup removing facial wipes. And lastly, I have a new brand I'm trying. This is from Uni, and these are like full blown on the go shower sheet wipes like sounds like my dream come true i can't wait to try these <laughs> lastly got some feminine items for that girly time and i'm gonna pack all of this in to that dagny dover gray toiletry pouch and pack that on the other side of my clothes in those little side crevices i've created Next up, all my different medications and wellness items. I just got this little bag from Amazon and I love it. It's like a wide, cute rectangular pink diagonal stripe bag that has got lots of great organization on the inside. I always like to pack a few things with me just in case for emergencies. I've got emergency, my vitamin packets, a little bit of Azio cranberry in the house of my, some of my favorite teas. I have lemon ginger and everyday detox. I threw my Alani new digestive pills into my school squishy silicone pill container. I also have some Advil, Band-Aids, lactate pills, some superfood supplements, a vial of Bach floral essences, and my favorite daily women's multivitamin from Ritual. Love all the organizational spaces within this tiny bag and then I threw this into again one of those little side rails within my carry-on luggage. Now that I had a good sense of the space, I also wanted to bring an extra pair of shoes. I have these amazing leather sandals that are so comfortable and just completely flat. I have them in one of my Amazon shoe bags. I tuck them in, soles facing each other, and then I folded that up and put it on this last space on the right-hand side next to my clothes. Moving on to intimates, I've got a comfortable bralette, a simple underwire bra, my underwear and my socks. I packed that into my long rectangular away packing cube and I placed that packing cube and that last space in the suitcase. As an organizing enthusiast, just seeing this perfectly Tetris-like packed area makes me so happy. Let's go back to the other side. I need a smaller everyday handbag option besides the big large tote bag, so I packed my Rebecca Mingoff Moto backpack that is really nice and collapsible and it works for just everyday hands-free use, especially if I was going to be on the construction site. I tuck that right in next to the rain boots. If this bag was a little bit more fragile or a different color, I would pack that into its own separate bag to protect the outer leather. I also had a lot of paperwork I needed to bring. I packed that all into a large paper folder and slid that into the middle section and zippered up that mesh. It's perfectly fit there. And then I also had a raincoat just in case it was going to be super rainy. This is a super lightweight thin shell from North Face that I got during college. So I wrapped that all up and then I forgot I had an extra space in the other rain boot. So I rolled that up into a sushi roll and stuffed it into the other boot. Lastly, I also had extra space in the suitcase at this point, so I decided to throw in some of my technology. I have this affordable clear case pack that's like a dupe for the Stony Clover, but it's clear on both sides, and I packed all of my miscellaneous cords. I have my four port USB charger that I threw in there from Anchor. I've got some super long, iPhone charging cable. I like to be able to put it into an outlet that might be far away and also roll around in bed while I'm still on my phone. So I packed those in. I also have some micro USB so I could charge my camera batteries and also my external charger. I have an SD card reader along with an adapter that fits within the USB-C port and then my SD cards all filed away in this cute little compact case. I'll link all those items down below for you guys. Last miscellaneous beauty items. I have my hair and deodorant. I have the 
this thick canvas wax bag that I got off Amazon that I absolutely love. It's nice and rugged. I'm packing my absolute favorite hairbrush from E. Zurif, and it is a ventilated brush that's great for detangling and just combing the hair out without flattening it. It's just amazing, you guys. And then I have my native deodorant my favorite natural deodorant, and a bottle of non-aerosol powder-based dry shampoo. I've been trying to find ones that are more gentle on the scalp, and this one's a really great one that I got off of Amazon. I packed everything into that canvas bag and threw it into the rain boot side of the luggage. I then remembered I forgot to pack my makeup brushes. If you guys did not check out my last travel video, I have the best super compact semi-clear makeup brush case. Whenever you open it, it actually stands up as a holder for yourself at your destination, but it is just so so slim and it fits perfectly in the last little crevice I had on top of my clothes. Now that that's all packed and zipped up, let's go ahead and move on to my tote bag, my last carry-on. I have my skincare in here. I'm using my Truffle Small Clear Zip Around Case. I've got my DHC Cleansing Oil, which is amazing for removing makeup and not stripping the oils out of your skin. Some Tula Face Cleanser for the second step of my double cleanse. Some DHC Mild Lotion for my toner step skin suticles ce furlic acid serum for my daily am serum a bottle of watermelon glow glow recipe pink juice moisturizer i absolutely am obsessed with this brand i just met the owner recently and she's an amazing woman business owner i absolutely love her products for my night cream i have some really bougie augustinus butter the cream face cream jury still out if this is worth the price but i just brought it with me because it's a perfect trial size i have a little sampler of the la mer eye cream that I wanted to bring out. I honestly bring tons of like beauty samples with me while I travel because the size is perfect. Some Derma E acne spot treatment in case I have a breakout. And of course my favorite everyday SPF from L to MD. This is the UV clear broad spectrum SPF 46 and it's just amazing for anyone that has any acne prone skin or oily skin and then of course I have a Dr. Bronner's Castile soap. I always bring a little miniature size of these because it's an all-in-one shampoo, body wash, hand wash. It's just a great go-to and it's super concentrated so you get a lot out of the small package. So those are all my skincare items that would normally check in but we're carrying it on this time. Moving on to the extra liquids that I pack with me for like my in-flight essentials. I am addicted to face mist and my ultimate favorite you guys is this glow recipe watermelon glow face mist i drench my body in this every day i keep it in the refrigerator so it's extra cool for the summertime feels amazing and then for a neutral option i have the always classic evian facial spray simple plain water can never go wrong with that got some antibacterial spray my favorite is the dr bronner's lavender one smells amazing i have some hand cream this one is super goop and it's got spf 40 in it so it's got sun protection in addition to moisturization and i mentioned this before but i have a lot of headache issues and just nausea problems so i always have some roller balls or essential oils with me my favorite ones right now are from sage i love the citrus energy and also peppermint halo love that one so much i even have the wand which almost is like a felt tip paint marker you're able to isolate and distribute little drops of peppermint oil throughout your scalp and it just really penetrates and stimulates your entire scalp and it just really cuts through any ailments that i'm feeling at the moment then i have some natural eye drops some carmex and of course some blotting papers for my greasy old nose i drop all that into my truffle clear case pouch i love it because it's so bougie and fancy but it's so slim and fits a lot of stuff it's just the perfect thing that just drops into your tote bag and all your stuff is easily available and seen and lastly you guys let me show you guys how i pack my tote bag i always have a tote bag organizer this one that i got from amazon is felt and i love it because it's slim but it's wide enough to really expand the possibilities of your tote bag just stretching it to the max girl i then use these little compartments to organize all my items so that they're easily available to me i'm gonna go ahead and drop the bulky items first so i have my skincare pouch in that truffle case i'm gonna drop that standing vertically so it takes less space on the bottom i've got my truffle slimline pouch drop that next to there fits perfectly horizontally i then have a smaller truffle clutch that i'm going to put some of my hair accessories so i don't lose them at the bottom of my bag got some cute little acrylic barrettes in addition to my favorite silk scrunchie this gives me just the perfect suspension of hair above my head without giving me any weird lines or making me have a headache i got my sunglasses i always use my desi perkins 
key sunglass cases. I have one for my reading glasses and one for my sunglasses. And then I'm gonna go ahead and drop in my silicone case earbuds. Jeremy and I have matching ones, they're super cute. And I have a hand fan in case it gets too hot on the plane. This one's amazing, it's got some high speed action. You can charge it with a simple micro USB and it's so small and handheld and it's great for those hot plane rides. I'm gonna drop in my minimalist checkered wallet that I got off Amazon for less than $10 and I've been absolutely loving it. Got my favorite Anchor power bank with a short charging cord and I'm gonna drop that into the Motile tote bag, specifically made electronic bank compartment. I like that it just is so easy and available for me to charge my phone at any time. I've got my G7X for my like vlogging camera. I wanted to take lots of video of the house. And then I've got my laptop. This is a MacBook Pro 15 inch and I slide it into a thick padded laptop sleeve. I, you know, you're just dropping your bag everywhere and I never want my computer to get damaged. So I always try to slip it into a padded something to protect it. I then am able to zip everything up and avoid Voila, I am more than enough prepared for a four day trip. For my outfit, I have a simple free people loose rib tank top, my favorite Lululemon legging, a pair of comfy white sneakers, and my favorite worn in denim jacket. And girl, I'm ready to go. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I've got all the items, travel, and actual clothing listed down below in case you guys are interested. If you guys enjoy this type of video, please give me a thumbs up so I know for next time. I love you guys more than you know. I hope you have an amazing day out there, and I'll see you guys on the next trip. Love you. Bye.